Hey Biscuits, welcome back. So I want to do a story time. Um, this is a haunted, haunted camping trip. Ooh, what depths of terrifying tales do I have today? Mm, maybe more on the shallow end. But still. <laughs> I love ghost stories. I have been reading as many ghost stories as I can for years. Um, and I always love going to somewhere that's haunted. And we stumbled upon a really fun tale of a, um, a dam worker that fell into the water and drowned. And so we were wandering around trying to look for, for spooky things um, on our camping trip. And you can see the uh, the camping day in the life vlog. Um, I'll link it down below in the description that we did. And it's just fun. I love taking my little monkey. I think I posted on Insta Stories and on Facebook um, a haunted Savannah video that we did that was a lot of fun. And I, I love getting to share that with him as he grows up a little bit, teeny bit. He's still such a little baby still in so many ways. Um, is he around? Okay, if he's around and heard that, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's being called a baby. Um, but it's fun to see him get an idea spooky, you know, spooky leaves and things like that. So we did a walk back by a hydroelectric dam uh, power plant and you can walk back in by one of the older areas um, and some of the areas have been destroyed by fire and then kind of rebuilt. And I thought that was really fun to go over the suspension bridge and kind of get a feel for all that water that surrounds you and you know, what it means, kind of all the spooky things that it I pulls up. I saw a squirrel A squirrel? Cool. That was a good squirrel story. I edited it out for you. <laughs> but yeah, being over that water on the suspension bridge, really, I don't know, you can feel the ions in the air around you, right? It makes your skin feel different. And you realize how much ghost folklore through the centuries have involved water and spirits coming out of it and how Water just seems to trap wayward energy or spirits and all this folklore, you know? And then being by a hydro plant, right? Something that is gaining energy from all this water and whirling all this up, right? The power of that kind of coming together creates such a, a spooky, but in a lovely sort of way. You know, sometimes you'll go to places that just feel dark. I remember I went somewhere in New Mexico years ago and it just felt dark and spooky, scary, frightening without being natural, you know? And this very much felt like a more supernatural area where it was nature but beyond that, right? You could get the sense that if you wandered around here at night, you know, you would hear sounds and see things that were maybe a little bit beyond the normal, right? You know, because we're in these areas where all these energies come together and all this focus comes together um, and it's hard to drive through in the winter so you have stories from before kind of the industrialization and easy road access with cars of how difficult this landscape would have been and the deaths and the strife that comes through right you can really feel that in some of these areas in the mountains and when you combine that with kind of modern modern technology. It's such a weird feeling to be in an area that you know has been full of all this energy for centuries and centuries and then we come in and we plop in something and think, oh, what could go what could go wrong or not even wrong, but what could change the environment about that, right? Like what could that bring out or stir up? So I, I highly recommend going and making a fun family day because I don't think Either telling ghost stories or going ghost hunting has to be something super scary and a terrifying, a bed in asylum um, that you are no way going to take your kids to. But you can just wander around and, you know, show them. I had my son pick berries while we were there. Um, we were just kind of enjoying ourselves and then I was appreciating that, oh yeah, you know, I can see the spooky element here. Um, and reading about the history and getting to know it and kind of seeing what you're looking for and imagining what has been seen here before you. And I think that's really fun because so much of the time when we're parents, we kind of get rid of any of our hobbies that you can't bring kids along in. And I love getting to introduce kids to the idea of, um, of the supernatural, right? And I keep it very, very loose, very age appropriate, you know. We're very much in the building little fairy houses and reading fun 
picture books on things. I don't even, like Brothers Grimm, I don't even know. He might get to read those in his teen years. My mom read those to me. A lot of folklore, a lot of mythology that were, f at a time that was for children, I would not want to read anymore to my to my little monkey. Um, but it gives us something to chat about and do, and lets me still embrace the storytelling, spooky side that I so love. Um, last year, I had a book come out that was um, a spooky romance that was about a coven of witches, and they get hunted down by this horrible, demonic, pit of hell kind of creature, and it's the survival with them this love element in of like, that's why you want to survive. And every fall, I always then kind of want to go and explore spooky things. And I've been getting back into that as part of kind of my self-care regimen of the idea of that there are things that I really enjoy and love doing. And I love going ghost hunting and looking for fun things and doing it in a way where it can be family friendly and it's not just uber terrifying. So yeah, I highly recommend going to areas with water. Now, I gotta say, disclaimer here, with your little kids, you gotta wash them like a hawk around water, but areas with water that are known to be haunted, you know, there's a reason for that, right? This is a really ancient human belief that water affects the spiritual realm, that it kind of puts pressure points on the veil between, right? So let me know, tell me, what are some of your spooky spots that you love to go to that aren't soul-crushingly terrifying, but that Definitely give you a sense of the other side. Yeah. Until the next video, I would love it if you went and clicked in the description box and checked out all of my romance and fabulous reads from sci-fi to paranormal. I click on over, um, my link goes just to my author's page, but you can get them on Barnes & Noble and Smashwords. You can get them all over Amazon for all of your ebook readers. I always love to hear from you that you've enjoyed those. I will see you on Instagram and my other channel in between next videos. Hey, thanks so much for subscribing and hit the bell button.